Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Tuesday, the 7th of November 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's look at the uh, the actual stats, folks. Okay, so uh, we have uh, US markets yesterday, yesterday, very stellar. I actually anticipated a sell-off yesterday on the back of the news regarding Saudi, North Korea as well, and the situation in Iran and, and uh, Lebanon as well. It certainly seems like the geopolitics have no effect whatsoever on uh, the uh, stock market at present. It certainly remains immune to any bad news at all. Okay, uh, Very strange market. So I've found it very strange since June last year. I mean, I'm only, I've only made 500 points this year, when I technically should be on 3,000, 4,000 points by now. So, um, yeah, this has been a very, very poor year for me. Um, since June last year, really, it's been very, very poor. Okay, so um, very hard to read. The market's constantly making highs, ignoring bad news. S&P new high, Dow new high, Nasdaq new high. Uh, very strange market, okay? Very hard to read right now uh, in terms of fundamentals. Okay, so... Oil prices certainly are surging higher uh, as well. Uh, now, uh, Asian markets as well. I mean, this is even more baffling, really, with the Nikkei up through almost 400 points, up almost 2% overnight. Hang Seng up 1.4%, Shanghai up 0.75%. So the bulls certainly reigning supreme there. If I uh, bring up the Nikkei, uh, is it updated? Yeah, I mean, look at that move. Uh, it's phenomenal, uh, truly phenomenal. Weekly chart as well, you're breaking out. Okay, uh, next potential resistance for the Nikkei, really. I mean, you had resistance here at 22.8, and that's one of the reasons why I was actually bearish. But we've just broken through that as well. So uh, do we continue? Or how, how far do we continue? How long do we continue? How, um, how long does this run last? It's been truly, truly phenomenal at present, okay? Uh, will we even get these tax cuts passed, okay? So again, all those questions, yet the markets don't care. They want to uh, certainly rip higher. People are willing to buy up here even at present as well, okay? Again, like I said, very strange markets, uh, very, very strange markets in which we interpret them. But yet the market certainly wants to uh, move higher into anticipation, possibly, or um, more than likely, obviously, with regards to fiscal stimulus from the US. Certainly seems to be a driving force. Uh, European markets certainly have been helped by Mr. Draghi. There was a Draghi speech today. Uh, economic data wise, let's quickly look at the economic data this since this morning today. Uh, in terms of Europe, we had German factory orders coming in weaker than expected. Uh, UK house prices coming in better, stronger, certainly helping sterling there to a large extent. You've had um, uh, yeah, French budget slightly better, better than expected. Uh, your, uh, Italian retail sales better than expected, and European retail sales certainly better than expected as well. So that certainly is a factor too. Okay, right. So let's look at the technical picture now going forward. Move up to the German DAX first and foremost. Go to the German DAX chart. Uh, daily chart certainly putting in a bearish engulfing candle here. Okay, uh, again, certainly has look, looked like it's closed a gap. Uh, if I use the diagonal trend line, just looking on a 60 minute chart, connecting it across, we're certainly holding that level. Okay, so do we hold this level too? So do we break down? Okay, in terms of the German DAX on the 60 minute chart, you've got support in this zone, you've got gap fill support here as well. So there's a lot of support around 13,440. And 13 for 10 zone so watch out for those two zones and you have the unfilled gap below at 13 to 50 as well uh, 10 minute chart on the german dax like i said we've closed the gap uh, the move higher certainly has been rejected up to 13 530 to the new high okay certainly has been rejected for now if we uh, fail to hold support here then you are looking at gap fill support around the 13 440 zone so let's see if we hold a uh, gap fill which really is expected especially given the fact that the euro has plunged below 1.16 okay so euro itself certainly is providing that stimulus to uh, european equities at the moment as you can see here a uh, daily chart certainly has broken lower there okay so again euro itself uh, does this h and s formation play out left shoulder head okay right shoulder then obviously we break low on the back of a dovish draghi so that's the question okay that's a quite a lot and that's the potential pattern that a lot of traders uh, looking at at the moment okay does it just short squeeze higher regardless uh, is the dollar certainly into a potential frothy top that's the question as well that certainly needs to be answered too in terms of the dollar chart certainly looks overextended from my perspective for now 
especially given the fact that there are some potential disagreements now. Uh, also, we did have the uh, potential uh, independent body with regards to the tax reform saying that 50% uh, of the benefit goes to the top 1%. So it's not much of a tax reform package, is it, really, in reality? Either way, uh, again, talk of a potential tax cut being phased out as opposed to all in one. So again, that's not exactly a tax cut. And uh, what will the effect be? So from my perspective, it, the markets certainly have priced imperfection. And, um, and and it certainly isn't there. That's my interpretation anyway. Okay, so uh, again, uh, I've been wrong thus far though. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Uh, this market certainly seems to be defying everyone at the moment. Okay, so the German DAX uh, cross-referenced that with the MDAX 50. You can see weekly chart bullish, daily chart bullish. Very really hard to argue against that. Okay, 60-minute chart bullish as well. One could say certainly hit a potential froth there, a double top. Okay, certainly looking to uh, reverse. You do have two unfilled gaps below, so bear that in mind as well. So we've not really hit a higher high. So one would indicate exhaustion there. Tech all share certainly has been the weakest link today, which is quite interesting. Okay, really is a harbinger for potential Nasdaq as well. Certainly an argument coming in made of a potential double top some type of scenario here. Let's see how this plays out as well. So certainly a bearish engulfing candles thus far. Okay. So moving on to the French CAC now, French CAC certainly has rejected those highs. Okay, again, it is defending 5500 though. 60 minute chart has the HNS formation, which I've been attempting to uh, to play out and trigger. Uh, certainly hasn't triggered thus far. So bear that in mind. Okay, so again, that's the pattern you need to watch out for the French CAC. Moving on to the FTSE 100, the FTSE itself tested 7580. Certainly has rejected that, although we did get good earnings out from... Uh, AVF uh, and uh, Imperial and oil prices as we already know are a lofty height so very strong oil price certainly looking for a potential rally on the FTSE here uh, I did expect a potential breakout really given the fact that the, the now and the S&P uh, broke out last night as well but the daily chart certainly has rejected that even with oil prices being at lofty heights so be interesting how to see how the uh, market uh, certainly plays out here as well okay so keep an eye on that okay so that's the status quo there uh, with regards to the uh, FTSE 100 in terms of the market. The 10 minute chart at the moment on the FTSE is into support though, so just bear that in mind. There's a lot of horizontal support here. Uh, will the FTSE play out for the HS formation as well? So watch out there. Uh, left shoulder, there's your head, double top. Any potential bounce here, really, the shorting opportunity now for me. That certainly will be a short trade, so I'm currently long anyway. If I get that 7560 zone, that's certainly a level that I may well exit and then obviously look to potentially open a short and look to play that HS formation on the FTSE. So it certainly is indicating weakness here. Okay, that's the status quo with regards to the FTSE. I think that's a good wrap up for European indices, really. Uh, in terms of economic data, yes, German industrial data certainly has been on the weaker side, uh, although retail sales from Italy and uh, Europe certainly have come in on the stronger side. Okay, in terms of the rest of the day, uh, not much in terms of US. Yes, we do have jolts. That certainly will be market moving. Uh, economic optimism, not so much. Uh, Yellen speech as well at half seven. So it'll be interesting to see what she has to say. Uh, and Mr. Um, Polos as well for the uh, bulls that are trading the CAD. Watch out there. Okay, uh, crude oil stock data as well. That will be quite volatile. But having said that, we've had the purge in Saudi. Uh, so uh, I think that will really dictate rather than anything else. Okay, I think that's a good summation, really. Be sure to uh, uh, obviously visit cfds.com and take advantage of that bonus and download the latest app. Goodbye now.